Today is Monday the 17th of April, which means that I have two weeks left until my first exam and four more days left of high school, which is pretty scary, pretty exciting as well. I'm quite glad to be leaving, but at the same time, I think it's quite scary because this means like a whole new me is coming, a whole new future for me is coming and it's kind of sort of unknown what's going to happen, like obviously depending on my grades. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just film my last week of school and the stuff that I'm doing to prepare for the exams coming up. Like I said, my first one's in roughly two weeks, which is written advanced music. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be bringing you with me throughout the week. Today I didn't really do much, I had mostly private study periods, so I kind of just goofed about and you know caught up with all my friends after the Easter break or spring break as some people call it. So hopefully you had a good spring break, Easter break. Um, I mostly worked for mine because I need the money desperately. However, I am absolutely done in, as you can probably see. Um, but yeah, so for the rest of the night, I'm probably gonna study, um, get prepared for tomorrow, and yeah, just see how things go. I don't know if I've mentioned what subjects I'm taking this year yet, but I'm doing advanced music, higher French, higher English, and higher RMPS, which is like religious, Religious, basically just religious studies. I don't know what them and the P stand for. So it's now Tuesday. We have the extremely stylish fit check. Um, today I'm seeing my mentor for the last time. So I've got her a little box of chocolates and a wee nice card. Um, and then, yep, I've got music, French and English today so I'll be doing that and then I'll be coming home and studying This is my little study buddy I'm just done some studying um, I'll show you what I've done in a minute and I think I'm going to show you how like I study for each subject so yeah So, um I've got my book here where I do like almost the day in. Um, each part is like a different subject apart from the um, orange. That's just where I keep track of like my test scores and that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of my subjects and just tell you how I study for them. In case you might be studying this year, you might be choosing it next year. Um, and want some advice or help. So this book is a bit of a mess, by the way. Um, but we're gonna start off with Ari. Um, these are all hires as well, by the way, apart from music. Um, but it's still like the same stuff that I do, that I did in hire, that I do for advanced hire than now. But basically for Ari, uh, we'll either write out my essays and time them and get the teacher to mark them um, so that I can practice what I'm missing or what skills I can do or I will do mind maps of so this is living according to the Torah and this is a 20 marker and so basically this is all the knowledge that I would use to write a 20 marker on living according to the Torah, but you can use this for like absolutely anything though, um, as long as you link it back to the question. Um, and so as long as it's regarding the Torah, or if it's talking about Shabbat or Rosh Hashanah. Um, and yeah, basically for this I just really use mind maps. So there's another mind map of knowledge. And then to practice an analysis, 
I'll have a knowledge and then analysis that goes with it. For all of them as well, um, obviously past papers are great. Um, and for most of them I use flashcards, like in some sense. So like for RE, I'll write down a question or a subject and it will either be like knowledge analysis or like what is basically written on my mind maps. This is an Origins of Life one. Um, so this one would be another 20 marker. So just in case you want any like inspiration on how to study. And then, oh, and for morale and justice. And these are only the things that my school does. Um, but I'm sure that some other schools use them as well. But for morale and justice, this is basically um, the Christian views and utilitarian views on each thing, so like the purposes of punishment and whether they are for or against it. Um, so I find that really helpful, like looking back on it and trying to figure out like where they stand and stuff like that. So next is music. Now for music, most of the stuff I do is online. Um, for my instruments as well, I just practice them over and over again as much as I can. Um, but most of the stuff I do for music is like just online past papers or online questions. Um, but the stuff that I will write down is like the major keys, minor keys, basically a lot of like um, Nat 5 or higher stuff that I might have just forgotten. Um, and then we got given these sheets, um, which are the My Music Online sheets and it has all the concepts on it um for like so that's national four and then there's one for national five higher and advanced higher and so i just fill them out red is what i struggle to remember so i practice them the most um like trying to remember them on quizlets and stuff like that and then the green is what i'm good at and so the green I've been able to write what it is, whereas the red I've had to, you know, like look it up and try to figure out what that is. But um, for music as well, I have flashcards somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, I have flashcards on like the concept and then what the concept is, or like if the question's asking like harmonic, um, the name a harmonic device, then I know that it could be suspension or tears to Picardy. So yeah, that's really all I do for music. I think music literacy is one of the hardest ones to do ever. Like no, nobody does good in the literacy, but you can only do what you can. Next is English. So I'll break it down for English. Um, so for the critical essay, we're doing Havisham. And so for that, basically I have wrote out all my quotes here. So there's like, I split mine into like parts. So there's insanity, physical violence, aging, and love and hate. And these are all the quotes to go along with it. And then here I have explained the quotes out and it's more like I think when you're writing your critical essay it's more of a just structure that you need to remember and you need to try and like follow on constantly and so I wrote out um, the analysis for the quotes and if they're like a metaphor or oxymoron or that um, for my textual analysis we did men should we and so I've wrote out here more mind maps. You can tell I love my mind maps and my highlighting. But these are um, just stuff about the characters. So when it asks you for like elsewhere um, in the play question, I think that's the 10 marker, if I'm right. Um, yeah, then I can just kind of memorize it by writing it down in mind maps. Um, and then I do a lot of past papers for English um, and if it's not a past paper then it's how to answer the questions so like for example Rui this is the structure on how I would answer a link question and then this is all 
of the types of questions that I could get asked um, on a Rui and what you would need to say about them. So for example, if it was a short sentence, it could be blunt, it could be dramatic, it needs to be shorter than eight words. If it was a list, then you need to talk about the variety or the amount. Um, or if it was repetition, then it could be reinforcing or emphasising something. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I do for English. I'll do, like I said, I'll do mainly a lot of past papers for it. Um, and get my teacher to mark them, or I'll mark them myself. But I like to keep, so for example, this 10 marker. This I got a 9 out of 10 on which means that it's literally a nearly perfect 10 marker and so I keep it to kind of follow that structure. I know the questions aren't obviously the same but if you have, if you do an essay or a question and then you know that a similar one could come up then you just kind of need to follow that structure of how you've done it but then fit in the knowledge to the right places. And then lastly, we've got French. So all this stuff was from a talk. These were um, the questions in my French talk that I struggled with. And so I wanted to write them down to try and memorize them. Um, I did really well on my talk. I got 27 out of 30, um, which for me was like really, really good. But all I done was really listen to my recording over and over again. I cannot tell you how much that helps. Like, that helped me so much during mine. Um, I think I'm more of a like visual learner, so like listening or watching something. Um, and I know not everybody's like that. So I'd suggest maybe writing the questions down and covering it up and reading it over and over again. There was a boy in my class as well who used lines, like you know how you can get flashcards? Well, instead of writing symbols or drawings, he wrote lines. So he had that image in his head of what, of like the line and what word would fit in each line, which I thought was like really smart. Um, and then for my directed writing, I just do, we got a little booklet out of like different examples of directed writing and so basically I just try and write them out and keep the structure but then I underline the stuff that could change so for this one is a school exchange but this could be a school exchange or working in a cafe um, but obviously you need to try and stick to the same structure and over and over and then for the reading I just do more past papers online for it um, but yeah, that's really how I study for all my subjects. Um, I don't think I go too overboard. I like mind maps. I think what definitely helps me in most of my subjects are mind maps, flashcards, past papers. That's a really hard one. That is a really hard one. Right, right, one. I sucked in. What's your favourite memory if I sucked? Doggles. But that is a hard one. That's like the first thing that came to my head. That's fair. That's fair. Bye guys. Bye. What are you gonna miss the most? What are you gonna miss most? Come sit down. What am I gonna miss most? Yeah. Um. Um. People. Um. Yeah. Oh my god. This is right in my face. I don't like this. Ah. <laughs> Favorite memory of school. Aww. Last ever. Drum lesson. Guess, 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 yeah. Guess who? Right. Guess who cried? <laughs> Hint. It was someone we're friends. <laughs> Although, guess who nearly cried? Me. Because oh. we gave all our teachers the presents. Well, I gave the teachers the presents. Neve was unable to. As I didn't <laughs> want to cry more. <laughs> Neve. Let's be honest. If I started sobbing, there was no way I was walking into that no, class right now. No, we've we've decided like, to do it in the morning, so to get it over with. But yeah. so overview of our shirts. Are you not getting on? No. Oh, okay. So we've got Neve's bitch. Aiden's Meg's bitch. bitch, Meg's bitch, we're all, we're all, we're all, bitches. We're all bitches.
So, I'm in the school toilets. Um, I've got my shirt. There's more things back as well. Yeah, cried like twice, maybe. But I'm gonna miss it. Wait, Just wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Let's let's see the fringe action here. Um, I mean, in, yeah, no. three, let's go.